Good morning. This is Pastor Mark McDonald with First United Methodist Church in Batesville, Arkansas, beginning our morning together with a morning devotional. You know, in the Advent sermon series that I'm in, I'm following some of the Old Testament passages, as you have seen Sunday, and we'll see this coming Sunday from Isaiah, a time of hope and expectation. And I've been thinking about all that I've been reading through the, the prophet Isaiah and who he was writing to, what he was addressing, and I'm just floored at the similarities to our day-to-day. -day. And this weekend, as I was thinking about that, a passage popped into my head that struck me as something I wanted to share this morning. Most of you know that Romans 8.28 is one of my favorite passages from the Bible. It's the one that says all things work together for good for those who love God and are called according to God's purpose. But it, it's not to say that everything happens for a reason. It is to say that no matter what happens, God can make good come out of that. And that, that seems to be the theme that seems to be coming out of the scriptures right now as I follow through the lectionary is no matter how bad things are, God can take that, turn it around into something beautiful. And then it hit me that I quote that Romans 8.28, but there's some other verses that follow it that go into more detail, which is even more powerful for what we face today. So I'm going to read from Romans chapter 8, beginning with the 35th verse. So hear these words. Who will separate us from the love of Christ? Will hardship or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? Now listen to those things again before I go on. What's going to separate us from the love of Christ? Hardship, distress, persecution, famine, nakedness, peril or sword? Those are the things we face. I mean, you could almost make a list of all the calamities that we've faced this year, and it, it rings so true. And so Paul asks that question, and you know the answer, don't you? What will separate us or who will separate us from the love of Christ? And, and he says, as it is written, and he quotes Isaiah, from, for your sake we're being killed all day long. We're counted as sheep to be slaughtered. I mean, we're just being harvested right now. And then he answers the question. No, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. So no matter what happens in all these things, we aren't going to be the victims to this in the long game. We're going to be the victors in this. And he says, I'm convinced that neither life, nor death, nor angels, nor rulers, nor pre things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation can separate us from the love of God through Christ Jesus our Lord. Does that not just speak to everything that we're struggling with today? First we have, what's going to separate us? Hardship, distress, persecution, famine, nakedness, peril, sword? No! In all these things we're more than conquerors. Life and death. Angels, rulers, Things that are present, things that are to come, powers, heights, depths, nor anything else in all creation. None of that is going to separate us from the love of God through Christ Jesus our Lord. The scriptures just seem to be singing this song to us in Advent as we are filled in a time of hope and expectation that there truly is nothing that can go wrong right now that God can't make beautiful again. We will conquer this. Stay fast, my friends. Be blessed today. And of course, be a blessing.